Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazad of Chess Channel and welcome to an incredible gameplay by the latest version of Stockfish, the powerful Stockfish 16 chess engine. We we'll see now the fish battling it out against another top engine, Ethereal, in a beautiful burn defense of the Rui Lopez. And if yourself are maybe a uh, burn defense player, please skip this video because probably you'll not like what the fish is doing here to your favorite opening, how Stockfish dismantles, brutalized opens up the position against the burn defense in my opinion really really one of the best chess games that i've seen so far by the latest version of stockfish so let's see now the game with the white pieces the fish open with the move e4 we have e5 by ethereal knight to f3 knight to c6 and now bishop to b5 the Rui lopez is on the board knight to f6 the burn defense and now here a kingside casting inviting here black to take out now the pawn on e4 and we have now the so-called real gambit accepted uh line in the burn defense now now here d4 trying of course to open up the e file against the king we have knight to d6 uh, we have now the so-called le hermit a variation where uh, black is of course trying uh, to attack now the bishop so that's why after bishop to c6 and d takes c6 white gets the pawn back but now after move knight to f5 we can notice uh, that uh, black continues of course uh, the game with a beautiful bishop pair uh, that is of course i think a decent compensation for the messed up pawn structure here c7 c6 is a double pawn structure it's of course not so good but uh, of course this c6 is also preventing here this knight on of whites to come on very active score on d5 if that happens then of course the c7 could be a weakness so that's why uh, this whole queen side setup here is also i think a nice defensive structure against powerful attacks by uh, by white's knight so the downside for black i think the only downside in the burn defense uh, that i see is always this four versus three pawn majority attack possibility for white white has a dominant position on the king side and will eventually do something on this side of the board so queen takes d8 we're staying on the main line and king takes d8 and now h3 we have king to e8 and now knight to c3 if you play here bishop to b4 then basically you're inviting your opponent now your opponent's knight into the game this bishop will eventually be kicked away by the pawn movement so in my opinion nothing spectacular again with this move bishop to b4 so that's why a5 trying to provoke some weaknesses here a4 a3 getting something here uh, on the queen side so we have rook to d1 we have uh, bishop to e6 and now the fun starts from this point on stockfish 16 is showing us also a theoretical novelty a move that has never been played so far in chess history and i was really um i was really surprised that no one really no one played this particular line with the move g4 in my opinion a perfectly fine move i'm really as i said surprised that no one dared sort of to play a normal move an attack against a knight but now where is this knight going to go if you play of course knight to h6 then probably even bishop to h6 leads into complications because then we'll have a messed up pawn structure on the queen side but also messed up pawn structure on the king side so the knight doesn't have good score so that's why here knight to e7 has to be played now by ethereal and the downside again about this move is that the bishop the dark school bishop is temporarily blocked out this means that you need another move just in order to improve your bishop's activity meanwhile white is doing something so that's why stockfish improves simply the position of the knight knight to d4 bishop drops back to d7 and now king to g2 getting now the king very active and pay good attention how active really uh, this king of stockfish will become now in the continuation of the game because we have to say it this is not i think a dangerous position anymore it's i think a positional game that could lead very very soon even into an end game stage and when you have the end game stage then the king has to be really an active piece a piece that has to participate in the attack that has to participate in the game so that's why king to g2 makes perfectly sense this bishop has already a good activity although it didn't play so far and as i said f5 f4 f5 we are attacking the king side that that's what i really never never liked about the burden defense uh from from black's perspective the potential pawn majority attack of white here on the king side so a4 black continues the pressure here on the uh, queen side we have a uh, king to g3 a3 b3 passing through and okay there are now several dark weaknesses probably 
black will have his fun with the move bishop to b4 but as i said the knight on e7 is so far standing in the way you need another important tempo in order to improve the the position of both of these pieces so knight to d5 black would love of course to now uh this continuation to see it because after bishop, knight to d5 c takes d5 both of these bishops will suddenly come into the game and black would have an also great opportunities with a four versus three pawn majority attack on the queen side but of course Stockfish is not allowing that scenario play simply around knight to e4 is not uh, allowing for the trades of pieces so we have c5 kicking with the knight and now knight to f5 if you take it of course this is not good bishop to f5 improves simply the mobility of white pawn look at this although these are double pawns but it's really unpleasant for instance you play knight to b4 we kick away the knight you drop back this c3 square uh, c3 pawn is controlling the d4 square we just improve here our pawn structure f4 bishop to e3 and we let this pawn roll here e6 f6 i see as an opportunity uh, even it's uh, d file attacks are possible so a messed up game i think here for black for sure so after knight to f5 so that's why here bishop to c6 was played by uh, the ethereal chess engine indirectly of course also hitting now uh the knight on e4 but now stockfish plays an amazing really impossible really a uh, beautiful beautiful tactical shot plays now the beautiful bishop to h6 really really wild stuff so let's see now what happens if you play g takes h6 then the game gets complicated look at the c4 if you drop back with your knight then you get knight to f6 even an amazing checkmate here uh, by both of these knights these knights are controlling this squares the rook is controlling the d file it's a messed up game for sure even if you play knight to e7 the same pattern of course happens with knight to f6 very very wild stuff so after move bishop to h6 here the ethereal engine had to now defend this position with the move uh, rook to g8 we have now bishop to g7 anyway by stockfish really wild stuff and after bishop to g7 now knight takes g7 rook takes g g7 and now another stunner rook to d5 look how the fish is destroying the burden defense what are you going to do if you play bishop to d5 this wasn't played in the game but look at this knight to f6 the fork against the king and the bishop you have to step back here to uh, uh d8 but now we pick up now the knight on the uh, the bishop on d7 for me now we play maybe something like c6 we get our knight here on f6 and notice now that the rook is locked here uh the rook cannot move the rook is stuck you cannot move it to g8 that's now the most important thing and you play something like i don't know maybe like something like king to c7 then we simply push the pawns further you maybe compete here on the default but now the king is getting closer look at this we get the king into the game f5 you have to play something like uh, rook to g7 but now you get even the fork here on on e8 so the activity that you get here against your opponent's rook here on on g7 so you see the rook on g7 is really paralyzed here you get it uh, with an attack with the king with the pawn on f5 it's really devastating so this rook is paralyzed you can never move it because you get the fork you cannot move this rook really really an incredible here position by stop for 16. so that was the idea after move rook to d5 so that's why here rook to g6 has been played by uh, the ethereal engines uh here ethereal didn't want to go into this uh, wild tactical sequence but now stockfish plays simply around this powerful rook on d5 simply supports it further with the move c4 really really wild stuff now comes bishop to d5 c takes d5 and stockfish gain now a healthy a mobile a really a dynamic pawn structure in the center of the board and of course f4 is coming f5 the pawns are rolling c5 is weak rook will come into the game we can even play around a little bit so many ideas are coming into my uh, into your mind but i think we can agree that this is really unpleasant to play for black although you're up the exchange but look at this rook on g6 really out of game this rook is also not of course in optimal shape really really a devastating position here for black rook to d8 here by theory trying to get the rook into the game but now f4 sacrificing so far the pawn on d5 just in order to get this fork on f6 here it was a desperate try by ethereum to get somehow back into the game rook to f6 has to be played now and after e takes f6 we have reached i think the common position that we want to get when we play the Berlin defense with the white pieces we're getting our pawn majority attack as i said in the beginning the main goal the main strategic concept the main idea the main plan is to get a pawn majority attack on the king side and it's always working for right so that's why as i said i really never like to play the Berlin defense at least not this lines where black has uh 
his um, opportunities has the bishop pair but never really liked this four versus three pawn majority now it's even a four versus two pawn majority and it's of course a messed up game here for for black so b5 black is trying of course to do something here on the queen side but now g5 simple idea rook to d2 king to g4 there is always a good path for the king so the king is never endangered uh, by the rook good move here by stockfish 16 so rook to h2 now stockfish plays an amazing move rook to e1 leaves even the protection of the a2 pawn but now plays a very important move king to g3 if you play here rook takes a2 this wouldn't be good then uh, white is simply pushing the pawn further with the move f5 you play something like rook to d2 but now g6 is rolling and white is faster in the potential promotion you can deliver a couple of checks but never really something spectacular f7 simply wins the game really really wild stuff so after move um, uh, king to g3 that stockfish played here sorry uh, that was our analysis after uh, rook to rook takes a2 here the ethereal engine played now rook to c2 trying to support maybe here the further progress on the c5 but now stockfish plays on the same plan f5 with the idea to let the pawns roll here on g6 we have rook to c3 after a couple of checks king to g4 and after the same position believe me or not here the ethereal engine even resigns so let's see again possible continuations you play rook to c2 but now rook to e7 is uh the line that actually it's winning here the game for white you can maybe try to take out this one but stockfish will also take out this one and if you try of course to push the pawn here on a2 then after something like king to h4 a2 we get the check on f8 you have to step back now and now we are close enough to the action we can support uh the further uh defense here against this um uh, passer here on the a file and then the next couple moves we'll play f7 f8 if possible so it's game over here for black really really amazing attack here by the fish against the burn defense in my opinion really a game worth to study of course many sidelines many opportunities are they there but i think we understood the basic concept the basic strategy as i said the basic plan of white to create a pawn majority to create devastating ideas on the king side that's the main goal because that's the side where you are better with the white pieces so in my opinion instructive but you see also sharp sharp tactical game played by the fish in the middle game stage so okay i hope that you enjoy this game i really enjoy this one because this i will apply maybe in some of my games this beautiful bishop to h6 let's go back uh very, very amazing amazing stunning tactic here by stock for 16 bishop to h6 devastating position here for black immortal immortal tactical sequence so okay if you want to see more attacking brilliances like this check out our comments and chess games played by computer series here is the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what do we say Chess is the best, of course.